Hello, 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 all my machine heads, and uh, welcome back to the Realistic Farming Series for Farming Simulator 22, where we're back here on Calmston Farm, and we're going to attempt to get our harvest done on this field today, or at least try like crazy to get it done. We've got a li just a little bit of time left in the daylight. we got to head over there and start harvesting. But I want to get the trivia, 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 trivia out of the way first. Oh, man. I'll tell you one thing. When um, Fury decided, I've got to get going here. So let's uh, let's do this here first. Oh, I got 100%. You know what I got to do? Sorry. Fury's got to go over here. So we're going to get the trivia out of the way while we're emptying our um, thing. I'll tell you one thing. Fury went down this ginormous 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 rabbit hole today looking up the trivia answer like i told you guys yesterday or well a couple days ago i uh i get i have this book that gives me questions it's on my phone actually it's not really a book um and it just gives me the answers and i went down this rabbit hole looking just like i'm interested with you like you guys are and i'll tell you what i found was absolutely in fury's favorite words uh amazing the size and oh man crazy 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 um that didn't work when we tried to back in there did it yeah i've got to uh i've got to keep going when we first get up so i'm going to try to do our entrances while we're while we're rocking and rolling here so that we can or intro is that <laughs> oh, Fury's first debacle. There's nothing in this trailer. <laughs> um, as it's unloading, I'll give you the guys the answer. Oh man, it was crazy. Um, to think of the the size of these farms. Yeah, we don't got much left. I just want to keep hustling here. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you to all the brand new members, all the brand new uh people that have come on and become members of my family. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Grizzly Bear Sims, for once again having the absolute wonderful kind words. And also the wonderful, 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 wonderful let's play you have going on over at Elm Creek. Do this part, this part, this part. Sorry, I will get to the trivia. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. I won't forget everyone. Okay. Where? Why am I? There we go. I'll keep moving back and forth. All right. So while this is unloading, let's get this done. I asked you guys what the world's largest farm is in the world, and I'm telling you, I'm going to give you the top four. Uh, two of them are in one country, and two of them are in another. The top farm. Well, the fourth. The fourth. We'll, go, we'll start with the fourth, then we'll go third, second, first. The fourth biggest farm in the world is Clifton Hills in southwest Australia. Get this. Ready? Get this. 4,200,000 acres. Absolutely disgusting if you think about 4 million acres. Number three is Anna Creek Farm in also southwest Australia. 6 million acres. Number two is Moderna, no, mod, no, modern, I'm <laughs> thinking Moderna, modern dairy and haul, modern dairy farm from Anhal, China, ready for this one, 11 million acre farm, and the number one, drum roll please, Mudan Yang City Farm, oh wait, Mudan Yang City Mega Farm in Halongyang, China. If I if I butchered those words, I, I apologize to anybody who's from that area or lives in that area. Ready for this? That farm is twenty two million five hundred thousand acres. Twenty two million five hundred thousand acres. Not even something I can even fathom. Absolutely, 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 absolutely disgusting. So, on that note, let's ask the trivia. Ask. 
<laughs> Let's ask the trivia for today. And the trivia question for today is, what's the world's largest dairy farm? <laughs> and we'll, and and how big is it? And how many uh, head of cows does it have? Now, let's get harvesting here. Uh, but I wanted to take a few minutes and thank each and every one of you that stick around for the whole hour. Um, let me move my phone. I had to bring the answer up. Uh, I know that some of you are like, okay, whoops, I hit my mouse. I apologize. Um, I know that some of you are getting frustrated that we're on episode seven and we're still harvesting, but like I explained to you guys, that's the real deal. That's how it really works. Remember, I don't have a team. It's just me. So everything is doubled and tripled and quadrupled in, in length of time. Like technically, I would be um, uh, emptying that grain cart while the guy continues to harvest. So, And you guys saw by me just going around and emptying it into the grain bin, um, we got double the amount. Normally we only get two acres, but we got four acres last time. Um, but I want to thank you guys. Uh, I think your name is Renee. Let me know it, how it's pronounced, please. But you said that you didn't think that you had the patience um, to sit through an hour. And then you um, you find yourself going, wow, it's over. Try being the me. <laughs> Try being me in the sense of I look up and I think, oh, my gosh, it's been an hour already. And I'm just talking about me and talking about my life. And next thing you know, an hour goes by. I was never so excited as I was today to, to get back to this episode. I, I just, I'm just enjoying this whole, um, this whole episode or this whole realistic thing. I'm enjoying teaching you guys. Uh, you guys have really embraced. Let me scoot up today. Um, you guys have embraced the whole realism thing, and it makes me very, very happy. Uh, I just love each and every one of you. Uh, I'm also, like I told you guys before, I'm going to start posting a link. I've been watching uh, Pennsylvania Dairyman. Uh, he's just probably about a 14 or 15 year old kid. But I know him personally. I know his dad personally. Um, and it's very close to my, area, my house. Okay. So... What you see in those videos, I'm going to start posting some videos of his. What you see, um, and oh, by the way, I have for Bill uh, a video for you of the Pennsylvania Dairyman. He explains what he does for the cows every day. And this kid, now keep in mind, this kid's like 14, 15 years old, maybe 16. He's out there in the fields and he's driving the tractors and he's getting the bales and he's doing what he has to do. He's feeding the cows, but he's taking his little GoPro and he's explaining how he's doing everything. And today's video, he was like, oh, I don't want to talk for, for an hour. And I know you guys are getting frustrated. And I just laughed because I thought, buddy, I talk for an hour every single episode. So I know, I know, I feel your pain. I, I just get to the point. But then I hear the most wonderful stories in the world like um renee that says that they enjoy they they put the game on they put me on and then they're playing the game at the same time and they're just listening to me talk and that and and then look like ranger you know um that you know he's taking his dogs out and he's what you know that that is what it's all about guys this is that's why i call you guys family members because we are a family. We do the same thing. You guys, each and every one of us are living our lives at the same time. Um, I just happen to come on and talk about mine all the time and, and let you guys know. So, Ranger, I got your little message about the, the auger wagon. I got you. Okay, so if you found one on the in-game mod hub that came out that suits you better, so be it. Awesome. I'm, I'm happy for you. And do not worry about it. It's what I do. I... Uh, to fill everyone else in he had given me a wonderful message and thanking me for all that i do and and taking the time out of my day to go look for an auger wagon for him and i had found one for him and he just said he sent me a message back replying saying thank you thank you thank you and um for all that i do for him and i'm just like hey i i do it for everybody um that's just who i am 
Uh, but we are getting some massive, massive members lately that are super excited about the Realistic Series. You guys are making wonderful comments. And uh, I just, I can't, I can't thank you enough. I am recording this. Oh, I'm early tonight. Fury is super early. It is 11.58 on, what's today? Tuesday night. I've got the basketball game on in the corner, and I'm talking to my family members. What better day is that? I mean, like I said, I was super excited as, you know, you uh, you usually go over all the things that you can say and do. You know, like I was laughing. I told you guys a couple episodes ago, you know, the things that people think about in the shower aren't usually farm sim. But Fury's in the shower going, okay, I got to say this. I got to say this. I want to talk about this. I want to do this. And it all goes out the window from the very first welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Virtual Farmer. And on that note, I'm going to say hello and welcome along. I just wanted to give him that shout out because um, he's the one that got me going as far as hooked. Um, but that's it. You know, I mean, that's uh, we had another snowstorm today. I heard that. Uh, uh ranger was had some really really seriously cold weather today or yesterday and uh that's kind of cool that you know you you live off grid that's kind of neat that's exactly what i do except for i live in the middle of nowhere but i'm not by no means i have electric to my house and, and cable and internet i'm not off grid like that but i do live in the country and like my nearest neighbor is probably about three miles from me so it's, uh, it's very common for us to, you know, have bonfires and things out there because there's no one out here. There's no one out here by me. It's quiet. It's eerie. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of weird. Like, you see these movies where people are like, oh, man, that's scary living in the middle of nowhere. And it is. <laughs> Sometimes the wife will say, oh, did you hear that noise? No. <laughs> I'm recording right now. I'll get it in a second. I never get up. And you guys have heard that. You guys have heard me on camera uh, talking away, talking away, and all of a sudden you hear a weird noise or the dog makes a funny sound or, or the cat makes a weird noise and the whole house is just quiet except for the little the TV I have on in the other room. And sometimes it'll pick it up on, on my mic. It's pretty cool. Like every once in a while when I'm listening back, I'll hear the game or I'll hear a commercial or something. And I think that's the coolest thing. That shows to me that I'm real. You know, I'm not just recording this in a... Uh, a padded room that's got perfect sound and everything. No, I'm just like everyone else. Uh, I do have quite an expensive setup, but that's years and years and years of saving up and talking to the right people and getting set up. Um, and that's just the way that's just the way I am. But I think it's I just uh, I just <laughs> uh, I get my merds mixed up. As you guys can see, I I've told um, Russell back in the day. He had commented to me back way, 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 way back. And when Metal Grove Farm Extended was out, he had said a comment that said he really enjoys it when I leave my screw-ups in. And I just, that's just the way it is. Because I think it shows, you know, um, if especially if I'm like testing a mod and stuff. I'm just like, uh, no, that doesn't work or uh, that works. Oh, man, I want to really get this, this done, this episode. I really, really do. So let's hope in 45 minutes so then we can come back and be harvesting. A, we'll still be harvesting, but we're going to be harvesting another field, which will be good. Uh, I want to give a thank you to, once again, Grizzly, who gave me some wonderful information about the farm. I was asking you guys to let me know in the comments uh, what things were, and apparently those things up there are storage for liquid fertilizer and the fuel storage and i can buy it right there if i want to fill it up uh i may not because i've decided i think i'm going to use cover crops especially since the fact that we're harvesting barley and we're harvesting wheat so generally what happens after a cereal crop is generally speaking you would like to use a cover crop of oil sea radish or potatoes or beets um, and what that does anything with really shallow but really dense roots 
Like, oilseed radish has really, 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 really shallow roots. Uh, but they're dense. So what they do is they hold the soil together and it prevents erosion. So generally what you want to do, uh, at least in, in the East Coast, up here in New York, that's where I live, in, in New York, um, we get a lot of extreme, extreme, extreme temperatures. Like, uh, you could be 70 degrees one day, and I've, told, I've talked about this before. You'd be 70 degrees one day and, and 20 degrees the next. It's crazy. Uh, we always have a saying here um, where I'm from is we experience all four seasons in one day, generally speaking. Um, and we do. Like you could wake up in the morning and it's 70 degrees and by afternoon it's raining. And then in, by mid-afternoon it's snowing. And then it's back to being hot again. It's absolutely crazy. Um but so what we did up here is after we re, we would uh, harvest a cereal crop and barley and wheat are cereal crops. Um, that's the proper terminology for them. We would always plant uh, oilseed radish, and oilseed radish is used for not only a preventive me preventative measure of preventing erosion, uh, it also is a great fertilizer. So. On this farm, we are going to try to be as natural as we absolutely can, organic. Um, now, growing up, we weren't, okay, because we used the we used either liquid fertilizer or powdered fertilizer, uh, but it wasn't us that did it. We have around here what's called a co-op, okay. So, I gotta speed up a little bit here so I can go at least six. Um. And the co-op would be responsible for coming and fertilizing and doing the things that that uh, would take care of that. Uh, but, and then, like, in the beginning, we didn't have one of them. And then it, they just, it was called a fa farmer's co-op. And they would just come and fertilize and do all the stuff for you. And then that, and after about 10 years, that fell away. And we started doing it. So we used powdered fertilizer for the most part. And then we switched over to liquid fertilizer. We used it all. But Dad always wanted to go uh, an organic farm because we always spread manure and we spread, spread slurry and we did all that stuff. Um, anyways, all farmers do that because you have nothing, you have no way to get rid of it. It's not like a big company comes. Like It's funny when uh, I watch other videos and people are taking their slurry and selling it. Like... That's great at like a bioheating plant, and they do do that in real life. Do do, <laughs> do do. They do do that in real life. They they come and they buy it from you, but we as farmers, being more of the poorer farmer out there, like basically hand to mouth farmers, we just used it. We were like, nope, that'll save us money on fertilizer, and we that's how we did it. Constantly, constantly, like um spreading that stuff so like i said um i'm gonna post videos uh with i think what we're working on i'm gonna put the pennsylvania dairy man up and i'll show you what he's working on like if he if he's harvesting wheat or harvesting barley or mowing the grass i'll find the videos on that um and post it with my videos and so you guys can actually get a uh, chance to uh see how it's done how we did it very close to my house very um same region same weather same way they did things same size tractors same everything it was like literally it's like looking in a mirror uh and he just reminds me of myself so much because i started at about the same age as him and and you the knowledge if you just listen to him talk he knows a lot and his dad is a good good man because he's raised a good young man there that knows how to farm and knows he could you know if, if something happened to his dad right now that kid could take over that farm he's learned and he's done everything he needed to do and it's just great it's great to see the the next generation of farmers 10th generation dairyman is the same way uh i mean think about that 10th generation um that just gives it right there how farmers keep that stuff in the family and it just keeps going and going and going and going and once a farmer always a farmer <laughs> all right we are 
ready to go. I hope I don't fill this because I'll have to take the time to empty it out. Apparently, from what I was told, is the, the capacity on these silos is, like, massive. It's like 800,000, and I'm thinking, okay, that's great. Um, that's perfect. That'll fit all my things, but... I think what I'm going to do is put the barley in here. So I got to go back up one of these times to the other farm, grab the barley, bring it back here, and then put the wheat up at that farm. Um, that's it. So we're going to do a cover crop. So the next, once we get done with this episode, or this fertilizer, or ready, ready, Fury's going to do it. Blah, 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 blah. I got to get my, my tongue untied there. Once we get done harvesting, this field and then go over it right across the street let me do this for you guys okay right across the street over there is it see it that's our wheat field that we're going to go harvest next ah, maybe we'll stay out here for just a little bit what do you guys think it's still being realistic it's just not in cab but I prefer it in here. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I can't come out every once in a while and, and uh, you know, give you guys a, a bird's eye view just every once in a while and let you know where we're going and what we're doing. Maybe like one or two headlands around of, out of cabs so you can see. Uh, because the, the, I'm not going to lie, like, the this gives you an idea of... Whoops, went the wrong way. This gives you an idea of how to harvest out here more almost than inside because inside you can't see a thing the the it's very very limited oh man i'm hoping we get this done today i'll keep harvesting backwards suits me just fine just fine it's just i just got to remember that it's opposite like, when you turn it one way, it's opposite. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem doing this. It's still realistic. It's still out of... I mean, even though it's out of cab, you don't harvest like this. You don't see, like, a drone view. But I do understand for YouTube and for you guys' purposes, it gives you a chance to see what's really happening. Go in here. That's cool. Yeah, well, I don't mind that. We'll do that every once in a while. So that's not completely like... Because look at... You really can't see anything in here. There's no... Uh, not... This isn't real. This doesn't represent real life at all. As far as in cab. Because... Like I stated, right here... And right here... Are windows. In a real harvester. So you can see all the way like you can go right here and see out back you can go out here this is real they still look like sugar smacks this is real how it'll fill up inside you can see that uh now then again i've never been in a class harvester in real life so it may be like this i don't know so yeah i don't i don't have a problem we can come back out every once in a while and just kind of give you guys a uh, working thing you realize how but anyways like I started in the very beginning you know for those of you who have stuck around for the last six episodes and enjoyed my voice and enjoyed things that we're teaching you guys are the real real heroes because I know many of you are like oh he's harvesting again and he's talking again and he just won't shut up and he's just talking 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 and uh this way's a better view. Sucks it right up like a vacuum cleaner. We always used to say it looks like a a vacuum cleaner when you're when you're watching it from in the cab. But I too, um, I guess you would consider me a um, this this answer is going directly to Grizzly Bear. I guess you would consider me the same thing. When I retired about three years ago, um, whoops, I got to go back in here so I don't lose any crops. We're getting to where we can't see. 
um, when I retired about three years ago, like full time retired, uh, I became more of a uh, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but a house like um, you know we used to have like Susie Homemaker. That's what we used to call ourselves. I I do I have chores around the house just like uh, everybody else on the planet does. Does but my wife and I decided a long time ago. <clears throat> oh my gosh, that's the first time I've cleared my throat in forever. That's awesome. Uh, we decided a long time ago that when the kids were grown and the kids moved out and the kids moved on, that we would split the house chores because when I was working full time and you know moved away from the farm and got doing construction, got doing my own business, I was never ever home. And my wife did everything, everything. And she works too. I mean, uh, she, she just, she's been a busy woman and I can't, I, I mean, I've been blessed, more blessed with her than I ever have. But when the kids grew out, we had grew up and moved away. We had all that discussion about, okay, so now we're going to start helping each other so that we get to our weekends and it's our time to be just, um, you know, if we want to lay around in our pajamas, we can lay around in our pajamas. If we want to uh, just watch a movie, we can do a movie, but let's get our chores done. So I have chores around my house just like you would if you were growing up. Like I have, I do the dishes every single day. That's my job. Now keep in mind, there's only two of us. Okay, so like how many dishes do you dirty? I wash like, four dishes a day <laughs> i mean i'm not gonna lie <laughs> it's usually two forks two knives two spoons uh two plates <laughs> it's, it's pretty simple um and uh so my job is the dishes i make sure that i help with the dog that's my job is i take care of the dog and then i do the floors like i i go through and uh vacuum where i got a vacuum and i mop where i got a mop and i do that every single day and every single day, and this is all in between my YouTube endeavors and my recording and everything else. So technically your work really never stops. Even when you retire, you're still working. You're just not going to a job every day. I still get up and I still do my chore every day. My wife does hers. She's got her split up. We split the, we split it pretty much down the, down it. So our house is clean every single day. And then once it's done, we just relax. Then the biggest decision is what are we going to have for supper every day or dinner, whatever you guys want to call it. We call it supper because um, we're from the country, so we call it supper. Uh, some people call it dinner, but then our biggest decision is what are we going to have for supper? You know, we look in the freezer, we look in our coffin freezer outside, we we uh, figure out, oh, we got this, we got some venison left over. We got, it's crazy. All right, so we can go down here, look at this, look at this, look at this. We are going to finish this harvest today, today. You can tell by the excitement in my voice that I'm super excited uh, to finally get you guys moving on to something different besides barley. It will be wheat, but <laughs> either way. Um, and that's that's exciting. Um, but that's that's just it. You know, so Grizzly had mentioned in his video that he kind of does the same thing. And that's why him and I get along so well. Uh, we are literally probably mirror images of each other. <laughs> it's sad. But my wife and I decided that that's the way we're going to do it when the kids are gone and grown up and moved out. And then we're in this big four bedroom house here with just her and I. And um, so it, I, she did it for so many years that I figured it's the least I can do to. Uh, and I have my, you know, I'm the one that has to fix stuff around the house because of my knowledge with construction and my knowledge and my tools. I've probably got maybe still to this day i mean 90 percent of my tools i've given to my son uh over the years but i still probably got 10 or fifteen thousand dollars worth of tools um and that's just you know over the years of getting tools uh although although when dad passed away i got all of his farming tools anyways uh we done like i said what my mom did though is she rented the farm away itself to the local farmers and they um they take care of it and stuff like that but i got i live in the farm farmhouse so that's the way it goes mom's moved on and she's remarried somebody else now she's 
Uh, and she's happy, and that's all that matters. I can't complain. All right, so that's going to give us a weird little swirl with the wheat or the barley straw at the end. I'll show you guys. By me spinning around like that, see how it went weird? It went... So, if you guys want, what I'll do is uh, when I, like, travel, I'll, I'll keep it out, and then when we're actually harvesting... Oh, man, can I get that last little bit in here without emptying it? Because I don't, I don't think it takes away from the realism being out like this. Gives you guys a chance to see the, the countryside a little bit more than in, in cab. Because you don't really see much in here. <laughs> but, yep, that's my life, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying my stories and enjoying it. And, and like I told you guys, it's, it's kind of hard to label them as stories when it's happened to you. I don't know if this is going to fit. 95, we'll see. Um, but yeah, the everything that I've said on here, it just it's ha either happened to me or um, I've seen something that's happened and I've commented on it. Like yesterday, I went on that rant about the uh, video games, and that's just me. That's just me being like very truthful, very honest. It drives me absolutely nuts. It's not the smartest thing in the world to be angry at gaming companies because that's what I do for a living. Um, not really a living. This is a hobby for me. But, yep. And it's funny because we pick on each other. My wife and I will pick on each other until no end. I mean, when you've been married as long as we have. A lifetime. Like I said yesterday, it's 35 years now. In fe well, actually, February 20th will be 35 years for us to be married. And you pick on each other. And you've, you've earned that right. You've earned that right to little throw little jabs at each other now. Um... And she says to me today, she goes, do you do your chores or are you going to go on YouTube? I said, yeah, mom, I've done my chores. <laughs> she gets so mad. Oh. And it's funny because I have her in my phone. Um, I don't have her in there as my wife's name. I have her under mom. Guess what, everybody? Ready? 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 We're done with this field. We're done with this field. So let's shut this down. Let's, um, got to get the pipe out first. Go down there. We're going to empty this. Um, and then we're going to go, we're going to put down a, oh, there's our balloon. We're going to put down a pressure washer. I've got to wash these machines. They're, they've been six. Well, let's see. How long did it take us to, oh, I want to look up something real quick. Dink, 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 dink. Oh, is Fury awesome or what? 19.72 acres, and I told you guys that it was 20. And that was a total guess. Tell me I don't know my size field sizes. Oh, my Lord. That was a complete guess and absolutely awesome. Now, we're going to come out this one here, too, just for you guys. Just to get a little bit of different. Um, give you a chance to see how the tractor works out here for a little bit. Man, I love the sounds of this tractor, too. For real. Just my steering wheel. Woo! Tell him using my joystick. <laughs> Even out of cab, I can't line it up. back and we'll empty it harvesters in real life though for real they they do empty very quickly look at that tractor tell me she's not a beaut right here these i was told are liquid uh, fertilizer storage you can apparently if i go up here on my pc and i hit r I can buy that and fill them and then just fill my fertilizer up from there. Same thing with the fuel. That was, thank you, thank you, thank you, Grizzly. I appreciate that. This, the sounds on this tractor are great.
Yeah. We'll play it like this for a little while. I don't have a problem with it. You guys have been seeing the inside of a harvester for the last six days. It'd be nice to see some actual tractors and stuff working. Now, I do want to go, and I want to see... Can I jump up on it? I just don't want to get... Watch this. Super dangerous. Super dangerous. I want to see what this says here. 73,015 so far. Now, we own that grass field too, right? I don't know. Let's... Uh, Go in here. Uh, where are we here? Where are we? Okay, we just finished field three. Yes, we own that, and we own the sheep pen. The cool thing about that is we won't have sheep, so we'll, this is just a grass field now, right? This is just, this is the sheep pen. Or is it grass? Where are we here? Oh, that's field four, okay. Field four is grass. This is the sheep pen down here. Okay, but the good thing is, is we won't have sheep on this map. So I can mow this. It'll be mowed. We'll do one of them silage and the other one hay. Awesome. That's great. We finally got that harvest done. It took me six days to harvest it. Uh, six episodes. This is episode seven. And we... It only took me... Well, let's see... We started at, what time did we start? Because, let's go look, let's go look. This will tell me. Six hours and, say, 35 minutes to harvest a field that's 20 acres. That's pretty darn good, if you ask me, by myself doing it. And then while I've got this tractor out, I'll go ahead down to the other farm I'll grab the barley from down there and bring it back and we'll keep barley in this farm and we'll keep wheat in that other farm. Just so we know where they, where they are come winter time. That's where we're gonna sell them. I'll shut that up. Perfect. All right. You can see how the field got. It's a weird shaped field, but it's decent size. 20 acres is 20 acres. Whoops. It does give you a better view from out here. I'm not going to lie. I, uh, it is kind of nice. And what is this over here? Is there... What is that? Why is that fenced in like that? Like it would have made sense if it... Wow. That's kind of cool. Would have made sense if this was like our chicken farm. But somebody else may own that. I don't know. That may be why it's doing that. All oh, the sounds on this tractor. Awesome. That's all that new sounds that uh, Ranger had me download. I got the sounds for the tractor. I got the sounds for the... The air hoses. All right. Unload that. We'll go down the other farm. We'll grab that. We're actually moving now. And then what I want to do is put up a... Let's go here. Uh, is it under animals still? Where is the pressure? One? Oh, it's under tools, isn't it? So I have to go here, and then I have to go... This is so much weirder. Uh, construction. Okay, then I have to go. Uh, tools. There she is. Let's put this. I gotta wash my harvester. She's so dirty. Um, spin it around. Spin it around. Spin it around. It'll go right there. Now, down to the other farm we go. Let me know if you guys think this breaks the immersion, or do you like it better when I'm driving? 
in here. This is out. Hang on. You know what I'm going to do. This is that mean power walker guy. He's seriously... It's, it's a different guy. This time. I'm not going to bother him. He's a different guy. The other guy was like a wearing a jacket, wasn't he? Oh, well. It's kind of neat, though. But I don't think this breaks the immersion too much. I think it's still doing things super realistic and... Gives you guys a chance to actually see. Oh, that's what it was, Grizzly. I thought that field up there is the one I owned. But I don't. I only own the one straight out here. Is this the same fuel where I can purchase it? Yep. Okay. So you can buy diesel. I probably will do the diesel thing because when I told you guys, we used to have a big truck come in our house. And, and literally, we had the same same kind of tank here so i probably will play, pay the diesel on one of the farms it won't be on both of them there you go that's it that's not gonna work you know what? I think I can go straight across down here. I don't think I need to drive that road at all. I think I can go over here. Oh yeah, that's right. This field isn't that isn't as big. Another little grass field. Oh, that's our cow pen. Yeah, perfect. I think I can just go straight across here. And go right into our silo. Awesome. And then I think... Alright, so... I think one of, one of the fields... Because we're not going to need... Um, straw for bedding, okay, because we're, um, um, yeah, I think, I, it, we, we used to use straw for bedding in the winter time, and we're getting close to being the winter, so I gotta make both of these fields, uh, something to make straw so we can continue them, I gotta check to see when I can plant oil seed radish. Uh, okay, any time. I can plant it any time. I just can't, har I can only harvest it March through, March through middle of October. So if we plant it, I don't know how long it takes on 28 day seasons, but if we plant it now, oil seed radish, or within the next week or so, then we can, I don't know if we'll have enough time to harvest it before. Uh, because it says you can harvest it any time, obviously, but you can only plant it March through October. Okay. All right, so that's this. We're going to take this down to the other field. But before we do that... This is weird. I don't have my joystick set up like I used to. So I gotta use WASD. <laughs> this thing really wasn't that dirty. Alright. I know our harvester's filthy. Take this back, and I think I'm going to come over here. This one seems a little bit easier to get fuel out of than the other one. The other one's right next to the dairy farm. So we'll use this one here as our main fuel point. Because you can drive up into the field if you have to. 
So how much is this going to cost me to fill this whole thing? 13000 There. I should be able to fill my tractor with this, right? And fuel. There we go. Now how many did that? Did you keep track for you? 9,908. This didn't take many. All right. Back across the field with this. It's the street. Sorry to break immersion with that a little bit, but until I get learning it and stuff, I might have to turn that on every once in a while. Has anybody tried to paint over those hedges and make them disappear? Because I'd like to be able to make this like a entranceway between the farms. And I love the fact that this tractor doesn't go 80 miles an hour. It only goes 20. It's a tight farm over here. There we go. <laughs> Running across the street, everybody. Ready? Place in almost fires. Dun 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 dun. Or is that? I lost my spaghetti all over the floor. There's a meatball or something. <laughs> because that way I can drive my. If I keep this edge here, I can drive my harvester and stuff right straight across both fields without having to go down the roads. The roads. See how nice of a job we did, though. Fantastic job. That's all you guys. Now, as you can see, I only have like a half a tank or a quarter of a tank of fuel here. She's filling. She's filling. There's over half. I'm watching on my sim dashboard to it go up. There's three quarters. Perfect. Uh, the other thing is, too, is we've got to... Uh, let's see. What do I do here? Uh, oh, and we got to do some work on this thing. We've got to do some work on this. There we go. I'm not going to paint it for $65,000. I ain't got that kind of money. But I did do some work, maybe just at the belts and things. There, now we'll... I want to see how much it took, though. Oh, man, it only took less than 400 liters to fill both of them. And that's completing a full harvest. That'll last us a while, it should. This is exciting to be able to go to another field and get done. Spray off all, all the gunky stuff off it so she looks kind of pretty again. She needs to be painted, but I'm not spending $65,000 to paint. I don't care if the paint wears off and it just says AS. <laughs> not going to happen. Didn't paint them on the farm. We ain't painting them now. I got to get my joystick hooked up um, to where I can use this. All right. Let's 
So, this is what my plan is. My plan. See how we keep this here like this? Keep this here. And if I have to, I'll cut a little bit more grass in. And so we can... I'm hitting that tree, but... Okay, so the edge of this will make sure we make grass. And then we can just come straight across both farms. We don't have to drive down the road. We don't have to do nothing. All right, we're finally doing it. We're finally into this other field over here. This is awesome. Wow. Do we own this? Do we own this? Where are we? No, we don't own field eight. I was going to say that'd be kind of cool if we owned this. That's more field to mow. But that's another field down there, so we don't own that. So we'll have to keep that in mind when we go crazy here. All right, so let's, uh, let's do this. Lower. Turn on. Start. Go back in here since we're now going realistic here I want to I want to break free I want to make sure we're doing straw and we are awesome so what do you guys think of that style you always want me to continue to do that style where we um, I'll come out when we're doing like odd jobs and stuff so you guys can get an idea and when I'm actually doing field work I'll do it from in here or I can do a little bit of mixture of both I kind of like that it was kind of nice Gave me a chance to see what was going on a little bit. Because you're very limited in here. Very limited. Very, very limited. Oh, man. Like I said uh, in the very intro to the video. Oh, that rabbit hole I went down today looking up that farm and watching videos. And, they, and they've and they got a video on, on them. Oh, absolutely massive. Massive, massive. Like... You see, everybody everybody knows, like, the size fields in, like, Australia. I mean, absolutely massive. Like, harvesting, harve like, 10, 12, 14, 16 harvesters on a field. And they're going nuts. And I didn't know that and it's, until I researched it today that in Australia they can only grow, like, certain kind of grass because it's so dusty and so hot. And, and they can't, like, grow grass like we can here in, in the U.K. and... And at home, we can grow all kinds of different grass. They can only grow, like, a special kind of grass. So they don't have, like, massive fields of grass. They have green. Green, green, green. But, okay, so the fields that are, like, 6 million acres, not fields, farms. Okay, the biggest one, like I said, in China there was 22 million liters. I mean, art liters. 22 million acres. And if you divided that by two, probably 20, well, 12, 12 million hectares. I mean, just, it's, it's absolutely, you can't even fathom it. You can't even fathom it. Right. Lose visibility. Vis 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 <laughs> yeah, this is quite a bit of a smaller field, so... It'll probably take us probably pretty close to about that. If that one took us six hours to do it, this one will probably take four. Because we don't have to go far with the wheat. We can just dump it right in our little grain right here. We don't have to go. We're not like running across the massive field. But still, we were on nine. We'll, we'll figure we we're on 1972 when we started uh, this field. We'll see how big this field is. The one mod for 19 is, was awesome, the, the more field info. You could run up on a field and say, oh, it's 20 acres. Okay, well, if I'm doing two acres, three acres an hour, this is how long it's going to take me. I completely guessed on that last field, and I thought I did really well. I thought I did, like, my famous words. Oh, I forgot to ask you guys. Forgot to ask you guys. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing fantastic. I almost missed it. 
almost lost it. We only got about five minutes left, and I was... It just popped into my head. I was so... I wanted to get that other field done so that we can cross that off our bucket list and we're finished harvesting that one for the, the rest of the year. And then I'm going to focus like crazy on getting this one done. And then uh, once it switches over to the days, uh, then we'll be okay because then we'll have 28 full days and then I, I just do things the right way. You guys haven't seen this. Look at how slow we're going. But it's the truth. This is... Uh, I try to show the videos to guys just so you know. Um, and it, where they're in cab and they show the speed. Just so you guys know, I'm not joking. Like, uh, this, this one I'm going to be sharing tomorrow is a guy that is, I think he's, oh, he's plowing. That's what it was. He was, he was plowing, uh, with a moldboard plow. Um, and he was going 5.2 kilometers an hour. So 5.2 is what? One and a half miles an hour. That's that's just about right. And uh, the one from James Edwards I've got in my queue that's going to go on one of these videos as well. Um, he was going 4.4 4, 4 .4 kilometers an hour. I mean, it's, it's super. It's just like this. You're super slow. But they used a lot bigger headers and stuff. He might have been going 4.4 .4 miles an hour. I'll have to relook, but I'm pretty sure it was it's kilometers because he's from the U.K., Hope we can get this. Uh, we're definitely not getting the yield that we were getting off the barley, but that was plus 23%. So. I think I, I do this the same as when I do my truck sim videos. Every once in a while, I'll come out so that people can like get a look around and stuff. But you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Peeked over to see the, the game. It might be over. Yeah, this uh this goes out to I th think your name is Renee. Let me know how it's pronounced. But uh, very, very, very kind words. Very, very awesome words. I appreciate each and every one of you when you leave comments. And you're so super nice. And you give me well wishes on my back. Which reminds me, today's day four. And I'm about 90% today. It's, it's still a little... When I walked the dog earlier today... Walk. My dog doesn't go on a leash. Um, but I go out with him. Uh, I don't go out necessarily at 5, 6 o'clock in the morning... Um, our dog's on a weird schedule. Our dog, we get up. I mean, my wife and I still, after all these years, we're still up at 4.35 o'clock in the morning. Every single morning. And my dog goes out with me. I don't necessarily go out. It's pitch black. It's cold. I'm old. I don't want to go out with him. Let him go do his business and come back in. Um, and he's out running in the snow. And he's out. He's gone sometimes for 25, 30 minutes. And then he bangs his head on the back door. <laughs> Um, he used to do this, uh, now mind you, my dog is probably, oh, I'm going to be finishing this up, so let me stop this. Stop that. Get out here. All right, we will finish that story tomorrow's episode about my dog. Uh, for now, we're going to, because I have to keep a strict schedule of one hour. I can't go over that because it's already crazy a long time anyways. So on that note, please, please, please look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and most importantly, look out for each other's families. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, share, 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 and hit the little notification ding, ding bell so you get notified when I drop a video. And please enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. And on that note, Fury Machine is out. Everybody enjoy your Wednesday. When this drops, this will be for Thursday or Friday. I can't quite remember. But please, please, please just enjoy the time that you have. And we will finish my dog story and we'll continue on farming this or harvesting this field. We're finally on a new field, everyone. Yay! Thank you for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.